Yo, what's going on, TSG? My name is David Larrabee, a.k.a. D-Lav. That's what my buddies call me. So, I'd just like to give a quick shout-out to Thunder. Dude, you are the man. You got me started from nowhere. Like, I literally just felt like making a commentary. Submitted it to your channel, you posted it, and it took me from zero subs to about 60. And now I have an audience to make videos for, and hopefully I can grow over the years. And yeah, I'm just going to stick with this and see where it takes me. So this will be my second video on TSG. Thanks for posting it, Thunder. Once again, man, you're awesome. Getting into today's topic is actually something one of my subscribers uh, messaged me to do on my main channel. But I figured I'm going to do this for TSG because this affects a lot of people. And I think a lot of people are wondering the same thing. Because I remember Thunder making a video on this topic a while back. And that is DLC killstreaks. So you're thinking, hmm. Is it possible? Now, like I said, there were rumors about it, and I think it is possible. It could happen. But there's only one thing I can actually picture, you know, and that is having the um, kill streaks in the supply drops. Now, that's a drag. Now, in a perfect world, it'd be awesome for Activision to allow Treyarch to just give these new kill streaks away for free. And I don't think they would be new kill streaks. I think they would just be reskinned and renamed kill streaks from prior Call of Duties. And there's actually a few I have in the top of my head that I think would be awesome in this game. And to start things off, uh, I'm going to name Thunder's favorite kill streak, or at least what I think is his favorite kill streak. And that is the Black Ops 1 version of the Chopper Gunner. And you're thinking, Dave, why not the, the Modern Warfare 2 version? That thing kicked ass. It did. But I think it was a little overpowered. And Black Ops 3 already has that Chopper Gunner in this game in the, in the mothership. Now, I've never had the mothership used against me, nor have I actually used it myself. So I don't really know what it's like. I mean, I've seen it on YouTube and it looks extremely similar to the Modern Warfare 2 version of the Chopper Gunner. But I just don't think it has a place in this game because uh, it's already in it. But the Black Ops 1 Chopper Gunner, on the other hand, is a very relatively easy kill streak to earn and it's very fun to use. You can rack up a lot of kills if, you know, people aren't using Ghost and stuff like that, at least in the original Black Ops. I think in this game it would work well, you know, with the futuristic uh, appearance on it, you know, all the visual upgrades. Uh, I think they would probably make it a little harder to get than Black Ops 1 just because every kill streak in this game, at least in my opinion, is difficult to get due to the skill-based matchmaking and a few other factors. But moving on to my second pick for a kill streak that I would love to have in this game, uh, I'm going to throw it back to Modern Warfare 2, which is actually my first uh, Call of Duty that I've ever played online, at least. And that is the Harrier Strike. And you guys are thinking, Dave, I thought you were going to say the nuke. Yeah, th that'll be coming later on. But the Harrier Strike, whew, for you guys who have never played Modern Warfare 2, the Harrier Strike was like three kill streaks in one. It was like a an airstrike, uh, a wraith in this game, and like a SAM turn from like Modern Warfare 3 combined into one thing. And I'm going to explain. So, the Harrier was basically an airstrike. It would, like, just like the lightning strike, you would place a point on the map wherever you want. Just one point, not three. But it would do three sweeps of bombs over the area that you picked. And then the Harrier itself would hover over the map just like the Wraith and pick people off. You know, just like in this game with the Wraith. Um, and then the Sam turn part kind of comes in when, at least in that game, when other kill streaks from the enemy team were within the same area as the Harrier it would shoot missiles at it so like say the other team got an attack chopper or, or even they got a Harrier they would shoot at each other until one blew up I think that's awesome getting into my next one I think this is number three I believe I want to bring back the Cujos like I was surprised when Black Ops 3 dropped that they replaced the dogs with you know spinning meatballs of death at least that's what I call them I think dogs would be awesome to add in this game. Maybe it would just be a skin for the wraps, I guess. Like, maybe it would be dogs with suicide vests, but I don't know. I just think dogs need to be in this game. That's like Treyarch's staple kill streak, just like Infinity Ward has the nuke, the the Moab, the, the KEM. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be picking next for my number four kill streak. I'm going with the nuke, the Moab, or the KEM strike. Now, I'm leaning towards more of the Moab, but maybe instead of 25 kills, 30 kills. But the KEM strike was cool. I didn't play a lot of ghosts. I didn't like ghosts like the majority of the population. But I think a nuke is awesome. Just I don't want it to end the game. Ending the game is not fun. I mean, maybe if you get nuked, you do deserve to 
in the game, but for me, like, if you're going off, right, and you set off that nuke, then it's like, all right, like, I just went off, did all that work, and I ended it early when I could have got more kills. I think a Moab is better off or a KEM strike. I think that'd be awesome in this game. <laughs> Lastly, just quickly, I want to talk about the uh, the specialist from Modern Warfare 3, like, where you would pick a, a perk tree of, you know, whatever perks you wanted. And after you get seven kills, you pretty much have every perk in the game. Now, imagine that in this game, accompanied with, like, a nuke. That's amazing. Like, you could go so off. Like, the Mark of J would just have a field day with that. I mean, he already goes off as it is. But, yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think they should add kill streaks into this game? Do you think they will? And what would you have them add into this game? Let me know in the comments. Uh, like the video. And, once again, thank you, Thunder. All right, guys. Have a good one. Hey, Carl.